welcome you all to the another exciting tutorials on revit mastering today we dive into the world of revit nested family a powerful features in revit that can take your designs to next height in this video i will explain how to create a nested family by using revit software before we get into the practical explanation of nested family let's quickly understand what is nested family previously in the all videos of family creation we discussed how to create a families in revit here i will show how to create a nested family what is difference between family and nested family family is a single building block in revit families are building blocks you will create on family on building blocks and we will provide parameters and materials and then we will load it into project but nested families are family within the family first we will create one family then we will load into the another family then we will load that whole family into project these nested family allows for unparalleled flexibility and customization in your project let's start with an basic example here i used a basic chair and basic table family and i will load the basic chair family into basic table family and i will associate the parameters and then i will load that whole family into project nested families are not just limited to basic table and chair you can use them for wide range of components like pipe accessory mechanical equipments nesting door and handles windows mullion and connectors why nested families are more effective than normal family that we can easily manipulate and customize the entire family system without compromising the efficiency or accuracy that's why the nested families are far way better than normal families here i will take a basic table and basic chair to explain how to create a nested family and associate the parameters let's jump into the practical explanation before you do that make sure you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell notification icon let's start the explanation here i did open three file one is our basic table family you can see here name and another one is basic chair and third one is revit project this project i will use to load those families and explain how the nested family will work in project you guys may familiar with this basic table family if you watched my old videos if you didn't please go and watch that video there i did explain how to create this basic family with the, all the parameters and materials and coming to the next our basic chair family and this basic chair i created separately with the, all the materials and parameters you can see here i assigned a para materials as well as parameters i will close this one first i will show by loading individual table as well as chair in the project i will load this into project for that one i'll go to load into project here and i will here select project one we are loading into the project one right so i'll select project one and i will click on ok now i will place this chair here i will select that chair and i will go to edit type here here you guys can see all the parameters and material just i'll close this one now i will load the table family also into the project i will go to table family file here this is a table file i will just click on load into the project here i will select project one only and i'll click on okay now i will place this table also here and i'll go to 3d view now you guys can see both table and chair i placed into the project just i will take section box for this one i will select both the table and chair and i'll click on here section box we can control visibility in 3d view by using section box just i will extend this section box now you guys can see this chair is too low and this table is too high so i'll just make arrange i will change chair height here i will provide here two feet and i'll click on apply and okay now it makes sense so what i did i loaded chair and table separately you guys can see here if i select table so individual table family it will show if i select chair individual chair family will show and here parameters also individual everything is separate this is how we will load individual family into the project if you don't want to load individual family you want to make it a single family in that condition what we will do we will just use nested family you can place both table and chair at single time and you can change parameters also now i will explain how to do that one first i will go to table family here now i opened table family file now i will load that chair family into this project here i will open chair family this one i will load into that table family here i will go to load into project here i will select parameter table file i will just check it on and i will click on ok no i will place that chair family into this table family here i placed that chair family into family file i'll go to 3d view 
you guys can see here i will just enter the space key in your keyboard to make it flip you guys can see now i will create similar few chairs for that one i will go to reference line of the table family now i will make this chair lock with a table for that one i will select align tool here i will align this chair to this reference line first i will select this reference line and this chair edge and i will make it lock here now i will create few similar chairs i will click on that chair and i will and i will right click on my mouse here one option is there create similar i will place one chair here similarly here here one and this both side and i will go to 3d view you guys can see here i will rotate this chair by clicking space button on your keyboard similarly this chair also similarly these both chairs now you guys can see we created six chairs for a table again i'll go to reference plane here and i'll make lock all these chairs to table for that one i'll select align tool here and i'll click this reference plane and end up the this chair and i'll lock it here similarly i'll select this reference plane and end up this chair and i'll lock it here again i'll select this reference plane and i'll lock it this chair here and and this chair also i'll lock to this reference plane okay this chair also not locked i will lock this one also with a table i will select align tool here we cannot see edge of the line so i'll make it wireframe this reference plane and this edge of the chair and i'll lock it here and you guys can observe these two chairs are not at the center so i'll make it center again again i'll take align tool and i'll select this reference plane and if you move your cursor to center of the chair you can see one axis is there just click on that one and make it lock here similarly this chair and i locked it here now i did lock all the chairs to the table if i change the width or length of the table chairs will also automatically get moved i will show how it will work i'll go to family type here and i will change the width to 75 and i'll click on apply you guys can see chairs also moving with the table for proper understand i'll go to 3d i'll click on okay here i'll go to 3d here i will change width of the table i'll go to family type sorry i'll change depth here i'll change 35 into 50 and give apply you guys can see chair also moving with the table no i'll click on apply i'll go to again reference level again i will go two step back now we did locked all the chairs to the table now just i will load this family into project for that one i'll go to load into project now this time i have to select project because we are loading this family into project i'll check it on project and i'll click on ok now we loaded that family into project just go to architecture here under component section here place a component option is there i'll click on that one now you guys can see whole family is coming with the table and chairs just i'll place here and i'll go to 3d view of the project you guys can see here i'll just extend the section box this side and little this side now you can see i placed a table here i will make a section box for this one i will click the family and apply the section box i will just rotate you guys can see now we placed a dinner table set here i will select the loaded family you guys can see here table parameters are there but we cannot find here chair parameters here outside also in edit type also we cannot find chair parameters we cannot change the chair size because this is a nested family we loaded chair family into table family then we loaded that whole table family with a chair into the project that's why we cannot change the parameter of the chair if you want to change the chair parameter we have to assign the parameter in table family for that one i'll go to edit family once again here i will close this one i'll select this family and i'll go to edit family here here already all the chairs are locked to the table but we didn't assign any parameter here i will select one chair and i'll go to here in property browser edit type here we can see that all the parameters related to chair here we can associate parameter with the table family for that one here one section is there small i will just enlarge this so which parameter do you want to associate we can associate here by by selecting this icon associate family parameter as of now i will associate only three parameters that is chair depth height and width here i'll go to chair depth and i'll click on this icon there is no parameter so i will create a we have to create a parameter with the same name then only we can do associate i'll create a new parameter here and i will give name as a chair depth you guys can see this name and 
these names both are same only we should have to assign the same name and i will click on ok now you guys can see this parameter got blur here means we did associate this parameter next i am going to associate this parameter chaired height again i will go to here associate parameter and i will create a new parameter that is chair height and i will click on ok so we associate two parameters here I want to associate another one that is chair width. Similarly, I'll go here, associate parameter, and I'll create a new parameter here that is chair width. And I'll click on OK. Once again, OK. Now we did associate three parameters. Now I will give apply and OK and reload this family into project. Before that, one just check whatever we associate parameter, it's visible in family type or not just i'll open family type here you guys can see chair depth is there chair height in chair width is there now we can load this family into project just i'll click on apply and ok then i will load this family into project one now it will ask for override the existing yes i will give ok now we can change the chair parameter also just i'll show just click on family and here table parameters are there if you want chair parameter i will because i assigned type parameter so i have to go edit type here you guys can see three parameters are there whatever you given chair depth chair height and chair width i will change these parameters just observe the chair it will change or not i will just assign 18 and this one 19 and this one 18 and i'll click on apply see chair got changed no i'll click on okay now this family looking little odd table size looking large so i will reduce the table size just i will make it width 55 inches and uh, depth i will make it 35 and height i will make it 30 and i click on ok now you guys can see it's looking proper dinner table just i will enlarge the section box so wherever you want you can keep this family just select that family and right click on it just create similar you can create numbers of family this is how nested family will work in project it's a family within the family what we did first we created separate chair family and table family then we loaded chair family into table family and we did associate chair parameters with the table parameter and then we loaded into project this is how nested family will work if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to our channel like this video and follow us for more insightful content i see you in the next video